This is Jared Horak for the runawayhorse.com and the, the Derby Trail is really starting to heat up now. The Derby and Oaks uh, Trails were up to 50 point races so basically they're win and you're in races. We're going to do three videos this week. We have three Oaks preps, three Derby preps. For this video we're going to do two races from Aqueduct, the Busher, and the Gotham. In the next video I'm going to do the Honey Bee and the Tampa Bay Derby. And then for today's RacingDigest.com I'm going to do the San Felipe and the Santa Isabel. Uh, for March 7th and March 8th. But let's jump into this video right now and we're going to do for Saturday, March 7th, 2020, we're going to do the ninth race from Aqueduct of uh, the Busher Invitational, one mile on the main track. Uh, this race, uh, has, we have a solid even money favorite and then we have a few others that at least have a chance to possibly upset her or more likely hit the board. And we'll start with the six water white this one's 8 to 1 morning line, and she's one that I think is more likely probably to hit the board. She finished a dis distant second last time in the Busanda Stakes, but that was a mile and an eighth. Now she's cutting back to a mile. But she ran in one mile races twice, and she ran well both times. So I think this is her best distance, and I think she has a decent shot to finish somewhere on the board. Now the 7 Persista was my live price horse um, in the Busanda, and she was up on the pace that day, uh, but she just couldn't get the 9 for a long distance, and she got tired in the stretch. She's 12 to 1 in this race, and I think she probably could run a better race at this one mile distance. This is the distance of her, her maiden win. Uh, she's adding blinkers. She's going to be forwardly placed in this race. There's not a ton of speed, and I would expect that, that maybe she can run a much better race at one mile and at a good price. Now, we mentioned Lake Avenue, or we mentioned an even money favorite. That is Lake Avenue of the five. Uh, and this one, on a speed favoring surface in the Demoiselle, she was able to, to hustle up early, uh, clear around the first turn, and then just go wire to wire. Uh, but everything up on the pace was winning at Aqueduct on December 7th, and, and she looked good winning that race. Now, she's coming off of a layoff for, for Belmont, and she's more than capable of winning this race, uh, but she's not going to offer any value. But if you do like her on top, definitely consider horses like number 7, Persisto, and number 6, Water White, with her underneath. I'm going to go with a mild upset with the six of uh, Maydeen. This one's five to two morning line. And she ran against Lake Avenue in the Demoiselle Stakes at a mile and an eighth. And she was rallying from off the pace. She was uh, broke from post one. She rallied uh, from about sixth to end up finishing a decent second. Now, they, she was never going to catch Lake Avenue on that speed favoring surface, but she ran okay. And this one mile distance, she's won at this distance and, and she's probably going to run a decent race off the layoff for trainer Mark Hennig and I'm going to give her a, a shot uh, to upset Lake Avenue in this race. But Maydeen, uh, Maydeen and Lake Avenue are my top two and then horses to consider value contenders underneath the seven Persisto, the six Water White. Let's jump over to Aqueduct Race 10. Let's do the Grade 3 Gotham Stakes one mile on the main track. Uh, this one again 50 points to the winner of the Gotham you're in the Derby. It's kind of funny that, that a, a one turn mile, you, you automatically qualify for the Kentucky Derby, but it is what it is. And in this race, we have a good field size and a decent amount of speed in this race. Uh, mischievous Alex, three to one morning line is going to be up on the pace. Uh, you have some others in here uh, that can definitely show speed. Uh, number 10 untitled for sure for, for Dale Roman should be up there. There are some others stretching out, trying winners for the first time. Uh, I think the pace should at least be honest in this race. Uh, some of the horses will mention the two informative. I don't really like this horse to win. 15 to 1 morning line. Finally broke the maiden in the 8th career start uh, in a one mile race at Aqueduct on a good track February 8th. Uh, he's going to have to run faster for sure to win. I don't think he can win but I think he can sit back, uh, pass some tiring horses and maybe finish 3rd or 4th. So consider number 2 informative at 15 to 1 underneath in your exotics. Oh, the 11 first deputy uh, back to back uh, wins against state bread company for Linda Rice. We'll, we'll see how good this one is stepping up to face open company in, in this race. And this, this race is pretty competitive. Uh, you, I mentioned the 10 untitled. This one's four to one morning line. Last time uh, Gouverneur Morris uh, beat this one. Now Gouverneur Morris has since I started my Kentucky Derby 2020 blog last September. Gouverneur Morris has been my top derby contender. I'm really hoping that he can run well in his final derby prep and qualify for the derby. Uh, but he's one that, that's run well in all of his starts and uh, Untitled was second to that one last time. And I think a, a one-turn race is probably better for Untitled. It's pretty quick 
and, and he's one that should be up on the pace throughout uh, that Tampa Bay route was on February 14th and he was coming back in 13 days. Now he's got, uh, now he's going to come right into the Gotham. So they've been pretty aggressive with him and we'll see uh, if Untitled uh, can get the job done. He was, he romped in his career debut and then he was a private purchase and then they've been pretty aggressive running him uh, fairly often since then. Uh, he even finished fourth in the Swale uh, a few starts back behind Mischievous Alex. And that one is, as I mentioned, three to one. And he's he's rolled in his last two races at seven furlongs. He's got good speed. It's going to be up on the pace. Uh, Kendrick Carmouche is going to ride. And Kendrick Carmouche likes to send horses up. So he should uh, fit this one well because Mischievous Alex likes to be forwardly placed. Now, attachment rate, the four at nine to two morning line seems interesting. Uh, he earned some decent speed figures in his last couple starts. He had a romping victory at Gulfstream Park in the slap last time on February 15th. Uh, this race might set up for him. He likes to rally from off the pace and the, there's a possibility that the pace could be uh, pretty lively in this race. And then uh, I'm going to go with the eight, uh, Montauk Traffic. This one's six to one morning line for Linda Rice. Uh, I like those last two efforts uh, at seven furlongs and they were both victories um, in those two seven furlong races, including the Jimmy Winkfield stakes where he rallied nicely. Now, as I said, I think the pace is going to be honest in here. He should get some pace help. And if he can move forward again and run a bit better than he did in the Jimmy Wingfield, he will have to run a bit faster, but the speed figures are rising. He's got the right running style. It seems like a mile shouldn't be any problem. He seems to have a decent kick and, and I'm hoping that Montauk traffic can get the job done in the Gotham stakes. I mentioned my Kentucky Derby 2020 blogs and also my Kentucky Oaks 2020 blogs. And you can read those at therunawayhorse.com on my Kentucky Derby 2020 page. If you're interested in my full card analysis, you can find that each and every day from Santa Anita Park at todaysracingdigest.com. I typically include a late pick four from Aqueduct during the week. I do stakes races uh, on the weekend, including included in those pick in those full cards. Uh, also, I do weekly packages, uh, weekend packages in addition to the individual full cards. So head over to therunawayhorse.com if you're interested in any of that. Now I'll be back next. I said I'm going to, my second video, I'm going to look at the Honey Bee from Oaklawn Park and I'm going to look at the Tampa Bay Derby, a Kentucky Derby 2020 points race. So check that video out and, and, and good luck at the races.